Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare a medieval soup with fried chicken. From the Registrum Coquine, written by Johannes Bockenheim in the 15th century. We start with ingredients. We need a chicken, almonds, verjuice, eggs, rose water and cured pork fatback. First, we mince the pork fatback, render it in a pan and fry the chicken. This recipe is recommended by the author to princes and nobles. One of the most interesting characteristics of the Registrum Coquine, indeed, is that the author specifies for which social class or nationality his recipes are more suitable. And in this source, we find the recipes for prostitutes, actors, peasants, priests, likes, nobles, pimps, and others. In the description below, you find the playlist of the recipes that we prepared from this cookbook. Some recipes of the Registrum Coquine seem to contrast with a superficial idea about what common people ate in the Middle Ages. For example, it may seem strange that Bockenheim uses meat and spices in recipes for peasants. However, Bockenheim's ideas about food and social classes are consistent with the information that we find in other cookbooks and sources on dietetics, as we analyzed in our book dedicated to the Registrum Coquine. For instance, the recipe we are preparing today requires ingredients usually associated with a high status, such as rose water and chicken or pigeon, which is the other meat suggested by the author in the original text. Pigeon and chicken are considered delicate meats, suitable for the stomach of the nobles, whereas other kinds of food are deemed better for the manual workers, and in general people who make great physical efforts. In the list that we find in the Tractatus de Modo Preparandi et Condiendi Omnia Cibaria et Potus, foods for the lower classes include, for instance, mutton, beef, salted pork, beer, peas, fava beans, or bread made with barley and rye. The foods suitable for the nobles instead, in addition to chicken and pigeon, are partridge, pheasant, capon, hare, roe deer and rabbit. Meanwhile, we beat two eggs with the minced almonds, fair juice and rose water. According to the directions of the physician minus the mineris, their juice may be substituted with other acidic juices, for example orange or lemon, or with a liquid obtained by pounding in the mortar some vine tops or green sorrel and adding a bit of water, then sifting it. Another possible substitute recommended in winter is vinegar. Rose water instead is obtained by distillation of roses infused in water. You may buy it in a Middle Eastern grocery store or prepare it at home. You find our translation of the Registrum Coquine on Amazon in English and Italian, with more than 80 easy recipes for all kinds of typical medieval dishes accompanied by an introduction, a commentary on the text, and a glossary. On our Patreon page, instead, there are the translations of the Tractatus and Opusculum de Saporibus, in addition to the translations of other ancient and medieval sources, and several articles on historical food. When the chicken is cooked through, we remove it from the pan, then we add in the pan the egg mixture and cook it, stirring almost all the time until it thickens. According to the directions of the author, the egg mixture must turn out quite thick. However, he calls this dish ministra, which in other contexts could mean simply dish, but is used by Bockenheim for various kinds of soups. As a consequence, we are not preparing a sauce, but rather a thick soup, 
If you're interested in ancient cuisine, check out our book, Ancient Roman Cooking, or the Observazione Ciborum, Early Medieval Recipes at the Court of the Franks, with the translation of a book written by the Byzantine physician Antimus in the 6th century, which shows the passage between ancient and medieval cooking. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. You find all the links in the description below. This dish turned out amazingly flavorful, fragrant with pork fatback and delicate with the eggs and the rose water, which give an intense flowery aroma to the chicken. A dish very easy to prepare, surely worth a try to experience all the great variety of medieval cooking. If you are interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.